I did a protection order on August 27th and I'm trying to get a caseworker so they can help me with following through with the police reports. I signed a paper. Okay, we're not the police department. No, I signed a paper saying that they would call because of, there's police corruption. Okay, now for your case, you would need to go through back through the district attorney's office because that's who filed, you filed the protection order with. Well, no, I'm wanting your services. Are you denying them? Because there's corruption, so I want and to make sure I want to. Right, I, I'm not getting services. No, I didn't get the legal. I didn't get the true. housing. That's not true. You were signed up for group. Right, but I want legal. legal. I want housing. I don't want them. And I want to be able to choose. Legal, and you will have to wait till the legal department to get back. To no you. one is contacting me back. What's the supervisor? You would have to call them. Ma'am, let me finish what I'm saying. Well. You keep interrupting me. Okay, thank you. And we you thank I want, you. why are you interrupting me? I signed a paper stating that uh, you won't let me finish. I signed a paper stating that she checked and make sure that they were investigating these police reports I keep reporting. Why won't you let me state that? I really do think you guys are corrupt. I think that's why you won't help me. I think that you're denying me services. After the protection order, no one will get back with me. You won't let me in. I can't get a caseworker anymore. This is abuse. She, she's not opening the door. They have multiple business have done, businesses have done this. They just deny services openly and keep getting away with it. I don't want to expose a secret location, but she's not opening the door. They do any and everything to protect him.